Hello and welcome to Bruce Springsteen Guitar Lessons. Today's lesson is going to be Night from Born to Run. Thanks very much to patron Wacky Navarro for the request. Welcome back, hope you enjoyed that walkthrough. So now what we're gonna do is go through all the individual parts. Okay, so the original is in the key of F, where I think the parent key is actually maybe B flat. We're gonna play it a bit more like the live versions, which are in E. Uh, the parent key is uh, A major, I think. Okay, so the tempo is around uh, 145. So we'll do the main song, song structure and parts that are in the record, uh, but also tie in neatly with playing it in E. Okay, okay so chord wise, what we've got, is uh, E sus4, so that's zero, two, 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 zero, zero. Also the tempo is around one, four, five, so it's quite a fast song as well. So E sus4, which we're gonna be using a lot, so that's zero, two, 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 zero, zero. And then standard E major, zero, two, two, one, zero, zero. Also with that E sus4, you wanna play it with your middle, third and fourth fingers as well. Cool, and then uh, E major, and then A major, and our E often plays it with a bar. Okay, so you just play the middle four strings, barring the first finger on the D, the G, and the B strings. Uh, and then also you're gonna play an A sus four, uh, so fretwise zero, two, two, three. So I'm just putting my third finger on that B string. Got a normal D major chord. Okay, and then we've also got uh, an F sharp minor over C sharp. So Bruce, I think, plays this chord quite a lot like this instead of playing the full bar. So fret-wise, four, four, two, two, two. So your third finger, four fret A, little finger, four fret D, and then you're barring the second fret on the G, B, and the E strings. So in the song structure, which I'm gonna put up on the screen now, 
uh, I've actually put this down as um, an F sharp minor just for simplicity. So uh, again, any chords in brackets in the song structure, I mean, there's more than one uh, chord in that particular bar. Um, so all, the song structure will be in the description as well, and hopefully you find that useful to kind of break down all the different sections. Okay, so uh, that was the F sharp minor of a C sharp. Okay, but again, we're just gonna refer to it uh, as an F sharp minor. Uh, and then you also got a B minor. So uh, two, four, four, three, two. Uh, so the classic kind of minor shape bar chord, A shape, minor shape bar chord. Okay, and then we've also got a B major. So I'm playing, I'm using my third finger to bar the, the D, the G and the B strings. Uh, and then I'm making sure I'm not blocking out the second fret E strings. So that's B major. Then you've got a G major. I think G, uh, Bruce often plays it like this, whereas sometimes not even playing the A string. Or, oh, I'll just put the middle finger down as well, as well on the second fret of the A string. So that's three, two, zero, 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 three middle, third and fourth, or you could even block out that A string as well. Cool, and then you've got the uh, C major chord. We're actually, I think we're gonna play it in as a bar chord. We also play it as an open chord as well. That's just a, a semitone up from the one fret from the B major chord. Of course, let's take a look at the intro first. You've got this really cool rhythmic pattern coming in first. And now, I think Bruce is doing this using octaves, okay? So you're gonna use your first finger, 16th fret G, little finger, 19th fret E. Now rhythm wise, what we've got is semiquavers or um, 16th notes. And you've got the first beat, you're gonna go one E and a. So down, up, down, up. Uh, the next beat, you've got this down, down, up pattern with a quaver or eighth note and two semiquavers or 16th notes, okay? So the first two beats, they go like this. One E and a, two and a. So down, up, down, up, down, down, up. Beat three, you've got two 16th notes and one eighth note. So uh, three E and. and. Then beat four, same as beat one with the. Okay, so I'm just gonna play the whole of that bar one of this awesome kind of uh, intro riff. So you've got down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. So counting wise. One E and a, two and a, three E and, four E and a. Cool, and now, again, you can actually see him in a lot of live versions playing it like this. And then first, and then basically you're gonna go down. So this is a B note, basically, a B octave. Again, don't forget, you only want two strings ringing the, uh, the, you know, the, the G string and the E string, and everything else you're kind of blocking out, okay? And then you're gonna go down an octave, so your first finger's on the fourth fret of the G, little finger on the seventh fret of the E. And then you're gonna start off the same, the first two beats are the same. One E and a, two and a. Down, up, down, up, down, down, up. And then you're just gonna do a set of um, 16th notes or semiquavers, so three E and a. So one E and a, two and a, three E and a. And then I'm gonna do one more hit there, quaver or eighth note, and then straight into that awesome uh, E sus4 chord. Okay, so let me just play those first two bars of the intro. Okay, so one E and a two and a three E and four E and a one E and a two and a three E and a four and. Again, it's a lot faster than that. Sounds really cool. So in the backing track that I've made, um, I think there's a few more guitars going on there. I think they've got, if you wanted to sort of play this in a band situation, I think there's something like a B sus4 going on in the background, same rhythm, but over the top of that. So that way, if you wanted to have a go of that in a band situation, go two, four, four, zero, zero. I just think that adds some uh, sort of depth to it. So there's a few more guitars on the record and maybe even the same kind of type of chord on the third guitar that I put in the backing track. Uh, he's playing a B sus4 up here, I think. So first finger, ninth fret D, third finger, 11th fret G, and little finger, 12th fret B. And then just do that same rhythm. Uh, I just think, I think that sounds awesome. Cool. So then you're into this kind of main kind of uh, one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three. So what's happening, you're coming on the and of four here, okay, which is quite important because sometimes you're starting these riffs on the beat, sometimes you're coming in off the beat, okay? It's coming and a four, so this is after that riff. One, two, three, four, and one. 
And then you've got this, um, I think he's doing this live. I'm not sure if this is on record, but he's going up, down. So one, two, three, up, down, and four. Two quavers there, and then E major on the and of four. So, and then basically you're just repeating this pattern of coming in on the and of four with one chord, either the E sus four or E, and then going up, down with that chord, and then changing to the other chord. So what I'll do is I'll play the, the intro kind of slowly, so you can see what's going on. So, so you've got one E and a two and a three E and four E and a one E and a two and a three E and a four, E plus four, two, three, up, down, E major. Same rhythm, but then change to the E plus four, E major, E plus four, E major, E plus four, E major. And the final bar, I just do up, down, up, and don't change to another chord. So hopefully that makes sense. Okay, so you've got, I'll play that a little bit faster now. So one E and a two and a three E and four E and a one E and a two and a three E and a four and one, two, three and four. Two, three, up, down, up, one, two, three, and four. Two, three, and four, one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four, one, two, three, and four. Cool, so it's a really awesome intro riff. Um, and obviously you've got the bass and those other guitars coming. So the outro is very similar. Uh, so what you're gonna do is that kind of, those E sus four to E's, what you're gonna do is just start on the beat. So you're gonna go, um, and that's the only real difference, okay? So you're gonna do this. Instead of starting on the end of four, you're gonna go E sus four, one, two, three, and four. So that's bar one, bar two, bar three. And so on. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bars there. So, but starting on the beat, this is the outro section. So, it's the same kind of eight bar riff. Uh, obviously, you've got those two bars uh, to start the, the actual song, and then this kind of eight bar, think of it as an eight bar riff, okay? Makes it easier to kind of uh, follow. And then you've just got the final two bars, it's a really cool ending. And this is the outro. So you're going to go D major to A. One, two, and three, four. One, two, three, four. So timing-wise here, you want to make sure that you're coming on the A on the and of two. So it's one, two, and. So the first one's a dotted quarter note or dotted crotchet. One, two, then the next chord just rings out for the rest of the bar. And you've got two crotchets or quarter notes for the final bar. One, two, three, four. So D to A. A to E. Okay, so one, two, and three, four, one, two. Cool, so I'm just going to play the whole of the outro section. So one, two, three, and four. Two, three, and four. Two, three, and four. Two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. Two, three, and four. And one, two, three, and four. One, two, and three, four. It's a really cool ending there. Cool, so then we're just gonna look at the verse section. Now, on the record and live, he'll mix up whether he does more strumming or picking. So feel free to, to mix it up um, and you know use some of these picking patterns, but maybe one time strum it and the next time sort of picking it. He'll change it up all the time. Um, so what I suggest is sort of mix it up here in, in the tab as well. Uh, and, okay, so what we're gonna do, first verse. So the first and second verse is uh, are basically pretty much the same in terms of structure. So what you've got chord-wise, you've got A major for a whole bar, and I've suggested a picky pattern here. Um, so going, again, just barring it, so down, up, down, up, up, down, up. Okay, so gonna go A, D, G, B, and then G, D, G. Down, up, down, up, up, down, up. All quavers apart from one of them, quavers are eighth notes, but one of them is tied. So going one and two and three and four. And now suggested for the next bar, really kind of common strumming pattern, uh, a down, down, up, down, down, up. And again, you can feel free to pick this as well. So it sounds like if you wanted to sort of pick the whole of the verses or whatever. So down, down, up, down, down. Up. Okay, so that's one crotchet or quarter note, two quavers or eighth notes. Simple, we've used this pattern quite a lot. So one, two, and, or down, down, up, and then A major. Again, you can always kind of pick a little bit of it. So 
something like that. So it's a little bit more picky. So I play those first two bars of the verse. So one and two and three and four and one, two and three, four and. And then just basically I'll kind of arpeggiate. Two, three, four. Yeah, uh, so these are on the beat, I think. But you can even start the, ar the arpeggiated chord where you're kind of separating the strings out just before the beat possibly. So, so you're gonna go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So this is kind of this four bar pattern. You're gonna repeat twice in the first, uh, in the two verses, okay? So I'll just play that. That's A, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. And we do all that again. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Cool, so they are the first and second verses. Okay, so let's take a look at the first and second bridges. Okay, so what we've got is half a bar of D, half a bar of E using that pattern that was used before, the down, down, up, down, down, up. Okay, so that's one, two, and three, four, and. As suggested here, just playing, strumming the F sharp minor a little bit more. Again, feel free to pick it if you want, do a little bit more picking. So down, down, up, up, down, that's that classic Strumming pattern that we've used a lot. Okay, so that's one crotchet or quarter note, six quavers or eighth notes, uh, and one of them's tied on uh, start of beat three. So it's down, down, up, up, down, up. Okay, and that those two bars are repeated twice. Okay, so fairly straightforward. D, D, F sharp minor for a whole bar. So counting wise, one, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three, and four, and, and do all that again. Down, down, up, down. And then there's two bars of D, so just with the same strumming pattern that we've just done with the F sharp minor. Again, feel free to pick it uh, or do a little bit more picking if you want to. This will vary it up all the time. Uh, and then F sharp minor, but picking this time. So here what I've suggested in the tab is down, down, up, up, down, up. So kind of using the same rhythm which we, that we've just done with the strumming, but picking it kind of. So down, down, up, up, down, up, and I'm kind of picking the E, up stroke, the B, and then down on the G, up on the B. Down, down, E, B, G, B, the F sharp minor. And doing the same sort of thing with the B minor. Same with the B major. Again, it'll do something slightly different every time. That'll work really well as this kind of um, a nice structure for the bridge. Again, you can you can mix up or, or whatever. So let's go through the whole of the bridge section. So the first and the second bridges are pretty much the same. So D major, D, F sharp minor, and you repeat those two bars. Two bars of D, F sharp minor, but picked, B minor, B major. Cool, so it's a really nice um, section that is. Okay, uh, also the, in the backing track, um, there's this cool little lead part that I thought I'd uh, just go through. So during when you're doing the two bars of D, down, up, up, down, up, down, there's a bit on record that I can hear clearly, which is kind of this kind of country style riff that's worth kind of going through. So imagine you're doing that, so that foot, those two bars of D in a row, halfway through, the first bar of that D, you've got one, two, three, or well, the and of three, you're going one, two, three, and four, and, which is quite cool if you were doing this in a band situation. So, and of three, use your third finger on the ninth fret G to slide up the, to the 11th fret uh, G, and then hit middle finger, upstroke, um, 10th fret E string. So one, two, three, and four, quite cool he's doing something like that so down down up da, da, da. cool um, okay so now what we're gonna do is go through the break sections so the break sections are basically first second and third breaks you've basically just got this one two three four and one two three four and one two three four and one two three four so it's four bars each time you're starting kind of on the beat with the e sus four and instead of just maybe doing less of the up down up but just doing one strum per bar first one is on the beat one two then going to the e two three four and one two three four and one two three four 
Okay, so you go e sus 4 e, e sus 4 e, okay? So I'll just do that one more time. So these are the first, second, and third breaks, four bars each. So one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and one. So nice and simple, but really effective. Again, you've got a bit more kind of saxophone for those sections as well. Okay, cool. So now what we're gonna do is go through the first and second choruses, okay? So what we've got here, again, it's split bar of G and A this time, okay? So down, down, up, down, down, up. Similar strumming or picking. Again, you can feel free to add and embellish it if you want to get it really spot on. So G major, down, down, up, down, down, up. And then B minor with that kind of picking pattern. Down, down, up, up, down, up. Those two bars are repeated. And then F sharp minor for two bars. Then the B minor, picking B major. So nice and straightforward, not too too um, complicated. Okay, uh, so let's go through that. So this will be the first and second choruses. So G major, B minor, we'll repeat those two bars. Then F sharp minor, B minor, B major. Cool, so they are the first and second choruses. Okay, so let's take a look at the third chorus. So the third chorus starts off, uh, the first four bars are exactly the same as the first and second chorus. So let me just go through those again. So G, so down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, then the B minor. Let me do all that again. And this is the bit that sounds really nice. It goes up to C major. Uh, so I suggested the same sort of picking pan. Two bars of that. Now I can hear on the record, I think there's some sort of sus4 going on. I don't know if it's guitars or it's the other instruments, but I've suggested in the tab a B sus4. So that's where you kind of a normal B major chord and you add your little finger on the fifth fret of the B string. And again, just do the same picking. And then B major. It's a really nice uh, chorus that. So what I'll do is I'll play the whole of the third chorus. So I'll go G. A major, B minor, and we do all that again. And C major for two bars. One bar of B sus four, one bar of B. Cool. Uh, and also um, in the backing track that I've made for this, there's this really cool lead part that I think is happening um, of those um, the last four bars of that third chorus. So you will be able to hear in the backing track and obviously on the original recording. Obviously, don't forget in the original recording, it'll be everything will be a semitone up, so one fret up. Um, okay, so basically, yeah, after the, the over the two bars of C and the B sus four and the B, what you've got this this cool little lead part. I just think it sounds really cool. Um, so seventh fret on the G string. And this is when the first C comes in. One, two, three, four, and then you've got this hammer on and pull off five, seven, five on the G that rings out, yeah, be a bit aggressive with the vibrato. So one, two, three, four, and a one, two, three, four. And then ninth fret G, which goes over the B sus four, and then eighth fret G. So this is gonna play that cool little lead riff. So one, two, three, four, and a one, two, three, four, and then nine, two, three, four, eighth fret. Again, probably put a bit of crunch or distortion overdrive on it to make it sound a bit thicker if you're doing this in a full band kind of setting. Of course, that's the actual kind of lead bit in the third chorus. And then you've got the middle eight sections. For this, I've just suggested doing your down, down, up, up, down, up pattern. Again, feel free to do more picking, vary it up a little bit as well. So I'll just go through the kind of structure for the middle eight. Don't forget, all of this will be on the kind of uh, the song structure and these all the song structures will be in the description. So let's just go through the middle eight sections. So this is a 12 bar phrase. So we've got two bars of B. A major, and then E major, uh, two bars of B again, and then D major, A major, and it's kind of like this build up. So it's sort of uh, Max will be doing the snare and the tom building up. So four bars of G, uh, B, sorry. Two, three, four. 
Again, if you're in a ba sort of band situation, I'd probably just get one guitar to just kind of go two, three, four, two, three, sort of uh, two, three, four, that kind of build up uh, into the third break. Okay, so I'll just do that uh, one more time, the middle eight. So two bars of B, one bar of A, one bar of E. Two bars of B, one bar of B, one bar of A, and four bars of B that you're kind of, kind of building up. Cool, so uh, that's all the parts. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. It's a great song from Board to Run. Just, uh, I think it's one of those albums that every single song is an absolute classic on there. So uh, if you've enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and any comments or suggestions, feel free to leave a comment in the below or question. I'll be happy to ask, answer any questions you have. Uh, so if you want to see this video with tab during this lesson part of the, um, so tab and chord diagrams during this lesson part of the video, head over to uh, patreon.com forward slash Bruce Springsteen guitar so you'll be able to get the kind of same YouTube video but with tab and chord diagrams at the end. Um, so that's Bruce Legend, that's the Bruce Legend tier on there. Again, if you want to get sort of guitar profiles, guitar PDFs, backing tracks and, and requests, uh, check all the different tiers on, on Patreon as well. Um, thanks again to Wacky Navarro for the quest and thanks everyone to watching, uh, for watching and uh, I'll see you next week. Cheers, bye.